What's happening, y'all? Rich Sosa coming back at you with another video today. And before we get started, I gotta say thank God, King Jesus, for another day and another opportunity. Comment down, TG, for thank God and where you're tuning in from. And I'll definitely be sure to get back to you with a response. So, as you can see, man, from the looks of the thumbnail, title, and screen, today I'm putting together the 71st build that we've created together on this channel. And this one's going to be coming out to the two-way inside out combo guard now this is one of the most rare and best shooting guards that you can make this year and out of all nba players man this one today is going to be reminding me of nba legend and champion manu ginobili now when it comes towards these attributes today we can reach a 99 plus on that mid-range shot three-pointer close shot post control pass accuracy ball handle perimeter defense and steal now on top of that bro when it comes towards these animations we get the best upgraded layup styles also the best jump shots most of the upgraded passing styles with some upgraded pro dribble animations so from top to bottom man this build has definitely got y'all right and even more so when it comes towards being a rare build this is going to be one that you can use right now in season two so i just want to say thank every single one of y'all the rich family for showing your support and love every single day i see you in the comments going crazy so if it was your first time coming through be sure to hit that sub button if you're new smash that like button turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family and last but definitely not least let's get into the breakdown of today's build so to get started with this one man we're putting it under the shooting guard position as far as when it comes towards this height let's go with 6 7 235 as we get into that weight with that wingspan being brought down 1 6 to 6 10 so you know this is pretty nice when it comes towards this build overall the main thing that i do want to start out first with is going to be you know i'm going to start out a little different today let's dive into the playmaking so for that pass accuracy i'm going to put this all the way up to an 89 as you can see when it comes towards this ball handle i'm going to put this up to an 86 and then moving into the actual speed with ball let's go with a 68 and as you can see we're already hitting some minimum thresholds to get certain badges animations a whole lot of different unlockables bro so this is what we're going to be looking like for the playmaking not bad you do get some of those upgraded passing styles the dribble styles as well even when it comes towards the pro dribble animations i think you got the best ones available so as far as when it comes towards the finishing i'm going to go ahead and put that close shot all the way up to a 92. as you get into the breakdown of that driving layup i'm going to go with an 80. moving into the actual post control let's go with a 90. And this is what we should be looking like moving from the playmaking to the finishing so you're definitely going to be part post score really i'm happy that we do get the best layup styles with that 80. now as we get into the actual shooting i'm going to go with an 87 as when it comes towards that mid-range shot for that three-pointer let's go up to an 85 and as you can see with that free throw man i'm gonna go up to a 74 so not bad for this kind of start you know you can pretty much do anything offensively really be a passer i saw up a little bit definitely shoot but when it comes towards the finishing as a whole you got post scoring in your arsenal with the best layup style so i don't think that you can get much better than this setup right here now let's finish it up when it comes towards this defensive end so for that interior today i'm gonna leave this at a 50. As when it comes towards this perimeter, I'm going to go up to a 92. As you can see with that steal, I'm going to go all the way up to an 85. And man, this is going to be crucial in order to actually maintain, you know, not the build name, but be able to get that two-way comparison. So for that block, I'm going to leave this at a 47. Let's go with a 76 when it comes towards the actual offensive rebound. And then as you can see with that defensive, we're going to leave this at a 61. The final few attributes are going to be left over for the physicals. So for that speed today, let's go up to a 73. As you get into the actual agility, I'm going to go up to an 80. Now look, one minor thing that you do need to change on this build is that when it comes towards, you know, being an all-around build, I'm going to take that out of the equation today. I took away completely every attribute from the dunk in order to really shine not only on the playmaking and defense but as you can see with this build bro i gotta say can literally do a little bit of everything except dunk but with that post control i think it's really gonna make up for it 
you know you get pretty much the best animations on this build not only that but this is a true scoring build that you can take into any game mode and setting and you're going to be able to find success with it so from here man the next area that i do want to dive into is going to be these badges so as you can see we get hall of fame float game and also off ball pass so not a bad start when it comes towards that interior and defensive end as we get to the breakdown of the gold you know we're going to be able to get post up poet post fade phenom from there we get paint prodigy you know you also get dimer hook specialist and then break starter so if you wanted to go about this build any differently do it after we create the build name together as you can see these badges are really catering towards that playmaking side but right here we get challenger interceptor on ball menace and also pick dodger so you have a little bit spread throughout the whole entire floor of badges to be able to be effective whether it's on the defensive or offensive side now now when it comes towards these silver badges we get shifty shooter you're also going to get unpluckable versatile visionary set shot specialist dead eye you're also getting ankle assassin glove and handles for days now as you can see when it comes towards this final build and badge we also get slippery off ball so realistically man if you're using those tier 2 and tier 1 upgrades for badges, I would consider upgrading Slippery off ball to that gold tier just to get some threshold and you know leeway on this badge itself. Now to wrap up everything with these badges, we got the bronze. So as you can see man, we do get layup mix master. From there we're also going to be able to get bailout. Now as you can see we get lightning launch, physical finisher, limitless range, strong handle, and rebound chaser man. So I gotta say, as far as for these badges, you are well equipped to pretty much be the main star on the floor at any time and any team bro i gotta say this is the perfect team ball build now look when it comes towards these takeovers let me give y'all the sauce we get close to about 20 of them and the ones that you're going to be looking to aim to acquire are going to be the ones that give you either a plus eight all the way up to 15 now you can pick anything else as well but that's going to be the best ones to pick from so we get bucket fearless focus you get finesse you know fundamentals with make it rain we also get mirror with orchestrator post conductor soft touch and the claw so on this side i'm going to start out with this side first we get the claw i would say this is probably top three takeovers to pick from the plus 15 put towards that steel with spoiler takeover ability is going to be nasty now even if you wanted to go with let's say you know fearless focus or bucket just to be able to get a certain takeover ability that's another great option now from there we get clinic feathery touch fluid shooter you're also getting lost art mini my astro that's probably one of my most favorite takeovers to pick because of that 99 mid-range shot with the plus 15 on the shooting now you also get offensive artist not bad here past smooth operator spot up shooter for that three pointer not bad getting a plus 10 with marksman takeover ability and then you also do get three and d which does give you a plus seven put towards the perimeter end agility and three-point shot with marksman ability takeover so like i said man feel free to choose the takeover it's going to cater to your own play style and liking now what i would recommend is either going to be midi my estro three and d you know you can even go with the claw all of these are really going to come down to what you see fit for yourself so one final area that we do need to dive into to wrap up everything is going to be these cat breakers so one thing that i would recommend if you're looking to get more playmaking badges or even passing styles animations throw it towards that pass accuracy or even the ball handle that's definitely a viable option now let's just say you wanted to get better shooting badges i think this is going to be the best option to go with getting that 93 mid-range shot from the first set of five cap breakers and the plus one from season two or even you know more of the upgraded layup styles you can even put it towards this area it's all going to come down to your build specific bro so be sure to pay attention to that and you know if there's something that you see that you would change or do to make this build a little bit better man let me know down below or shoot me a message up above on any of my socials and i will definitely be sure to get y'all right so i just want to say before we move further if you made it to the very end thank every single one of y'all the rich family for showing up and showing out you know this is going to be a nice build that you can really take into any game mode and use right now in season two of nba 2k25 so let's go ahead and move forward to make sure that everybody made this build correctly as you can see we get that manny ginobili devin booker and devin vassal and coming up at the 71st build that we've created together on this channel we got the two-way inside out combo guard archetype bro i'm very happy with this one from animations takeovers and badges this has everything that you can truly want out of a guard bro 
and we're six seven so it's definitely an oversized you know low key of a lockdown with these radiance on that defensive end you know i don't think we can get much better when it comes towards the actual attributes we took a minor hit in some areas to get better out of others so i think this is the perfect mix of a lockdown with you know some really nice offensive abilities once again man thank every single one of y'all the rich family for your support i got another video dropping for you tomorrow so once again man god bless you and if it was your first time coming through be sure to hit that sub button if you're new smash that like button turn on post notifications to be a part of the rich family and last but definitely not least with all that being said though i got one last thing to say rich out